Hello and welcome to uh, another in our series, Be a Better Realtor, the video series designed to help realtors do the best job that they can during the course of a transaction, uh, whether you're representing a seller or a buyer. There are lots of resources out there to help you build your lead pipeline. Uh, there's lots of resources to help you to figure out how to get 100 listings or to have 1,000 listings. And I have links to several of those people and their uh, coaching materials down below. Um, but that's not what this is about. This is about doing the best thing you can uh, with a variety of situations that come up all the time uh, during a transaction. So let's jump in. So what happened here was we had a seller and the seller uh, was uh, in escrow and the preliminary title report came out. And I'm going to show you what do you do when the, when the seller's name appears with liens or judgments uh, on the prelim. What should you do? Uh, how do we handle it? How do we go about fixing it? Especially when those liens and judgments do not belong to that seller. So let's take a look. Um, if you look at the preliminary title report, you can see the name of the seller. By the way, the seller of this home gave us his express permission to use his name openly uh, for this lesson, so uh, we are not airing anyone's dirty laundry uh, without their full permission. But if you take a look here at uh, the uh, name here, you'll see that the seller's name is Christian Fuentes. Um, and if you look at uh, this item here, you can see there is a child support lien against this person named Christian Fuentes. Now, when I saw this, I right, went right to the seller and, and told him about it uh, to ask what the situation was. He doesn't have any kids, and he does not know what that would have to do with. So, how do we go about dealing with this? Well, we reached out to the title insurance company, and this is what you would do. You reach out to the title insurance company, you let them know of the discrepancy, and they will give you a course of action as to how to go about proving that this lien did not belong to him. In this case, it was a matter of uh, filling out a uh, one of the confidential statement of information. Sometimes they're called statement of identity or statement of information, or it might say confidential statement of information. And these... Uh, will come usually with every escrow package. In this case, because we had a problem that we wanted to deal with early on, uh, we had the seller fill one of those out, and it turns out that upon further research, the social security number of the seller did not match with the social security number with this person that had the same name as him. And as a result of that, once the title insurance company goes through their motions, and they'll do this investigation once they have the facts, um, what happens is, they actually uh, gave a supplement, and uh, we'll take a look at it here. Um, they gave a supplement showing that the lien had been removed from the preliminary title report. In essence, uh, essentially making the lien not the seller's problem. Now, let's suppose that the child, the child support lien did belong to the seller. In that case, this or any other lien would have to be paid off, or some arrangement would have to be made with that creditor uh, in order to deal with that, in order for the sale to close. So the lien would have to get cleared in one way or another. But uh, in this case, the takeaway from this is, once you see anything inside a preliminary title report that uh, causes concern, reach out to your title officer. Uh, they will, not only will your seller be really happy that you are in charge and in control of what's going on, um, but they can usually get these issues resolved relatively quickly, uh, and you wanna let the title insurance company uh, basically direct you and direct your client as to what to do in order to make the issue go away. Um, now, I will tell you, preliminary title reports are a, they're a treasure trove. They really are a great place uh, for an agent to dig into what the history and the story of the property are so that you can demonstrate real knowledge to the seller. Uh, I like to use even sometimes uh, when I'm when I'm uh, on the verge of getting a listing, the importance of me researching the title report so we can find out issues like this because they happen all the time. And and in this case, this was a name of somebody else who was not the seller. Sometimes a seller might say, "Well, I don't have any issues against the property, so I'm not worried." Well, that's not it's not the matter of whether they have an issue; it's a matter of whether anyone with their name in this case has any kind of issue as well, and uh, the prelim will reveal that. So I hope you found this helpful. If I can be of service to you in your brokerage or on your transactions, please feel free to call me. I've been in business since 2003. I have participated in over 300 transactions, and I would uh, love to be of service to you if I can in any way. I hope you found this helpful, and I hope you will pass it on to other realtors that you think might benefit from it as well. Thanks for watching.